I'm Laura Shu. In this video, I'm going to show you the new advanced healing brush here in the Lightroom 5 Beta. Now this is in fact my personal favorite new feature in the Lightroom 5 Beta because it allows me to do more complicated object removal than I could in Lightroom 4, and it allows me to do retouching faster than I could in Lightroom 4, which means fewer trips to Photoshop and a lot of saved time. The advanced healing brush has the same symbol as the old spot removal tool. And in fact, this has the same basic functionality as the old spot removal tool. Now I cover this in depth in my spot removal video for Lightroom 4. So watch that for a refresher of all the basics. I want to show you first, once you're in the spot removal tool, this new visualize spots option here. This is particularly useful for identifying sensor dust spots in your photos. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on here. I've got the slider all the way to the right here, which means maximizing the chances that I'm going to find spots in my photo. If I slide this slider down, you can see that I'm really only seeing the highest contrast edges in my photo. Let's go ahead and take it all the way up. Now my eye says that this is perfectly fine. This is clouds in the photo. These are obviously the lines of the building. But this spot here now sticks out like a sore thumb. I can fix this spot in this Visualize Spots mode, in other words, with this black and white version, or I can turn off Visualize Spots and I can fix it seeing the photo itself. Now I'm going to do Ctrl or Command Plus to zoom in here, and in fact, of course, we see the sensor dust spot. Just to review, I would make my circle bigger than that spot, and I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse, and then I would click on this spot and Lightroom would fix it with a new source. So it automatically came up with this, this area as being a good candidate to cover up that spot with. I could click and drag on that source to take it from a different area. Okay, so that's not new. We've got all of the old spot removal functionality. Let me go ahead and show you one more example of using visualized spots. And I realize this isn't a particularly interesting photograph. It's interesting technically because it has a ton of spots. We can see a couple here, but if I go ahead and do Ctrl or Command Plus and zoom in, the more I zoom in, the more spots I see. Now again, Visualize Spots will help me to identify those much quicker. So I can check it, and I'll go ahead and slide the slider all the way up. And now again, I could even fix these with this Visualize Spots mode turned on. What I would want to do is maybe do my initial fix with it turned on, but then turn it off and go check carefully to make sure that Lightroom did do a good job in terms of where it took the source from. In other words, to make sure that my fix isn't obvious. Now one shortcut is A. So A will toggle on and off this Visualize Spots mode. Now I've got several fixes here. I'll go ahead and put another fix there. Another new feature in the Lightroom 5 Beta is the Alter Option shortcut in the Spot Removal Tool for deleting fixes. So I can click on a circle to delete the fix, or I can click, hold, and drag with the Alter Option key held down to define an area where I want Lightroom to delete all of the Spot Removal fixes. So now I'm back to having no fixes at all in that area. So that's the Alt or the Option key. So those are handy new features, but they're not really the exciting part of this new advanced healing brush. It's just going to get better from here. So I'm going to go to this photo, and we're going to remove the power lines in this photo. So Ctrl or Command Plus to zoom in, and then I'll hold down the space bar and click and drag to move over in the photo. Now I have showed you in earlier videos that you could use overlapping circles to remove power lines such as this. So I'm going to take the source from up here, and then I could have another overlapping circle next to it, take the source from up here, and eventually I could remove these power lines. There's an easier way though. I'm going to hold the Alt to the Option key down and delete those spots. I'm going to come up to the top here. I'm going to click, and I'm going to get the first spot set, and then the next level of excitement comes when I hold the Shift key down and I click at the end here. I've now got a fix that's that entire line. 
So this is what I fixed, and this is where Lightroom decided to take the source from. So I clicked at the top, and then I held the Shift key down as I clicked at the bottom. That won't be new for those of you that use Photoshop, but it's new to us in Lightroom. Now I want to see my photo without these lines showing. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the tool overlay to Auto. Generally with it set to Auto, as I take my mouse out of the photo, the lines would go away. There seems to still be a bug here in the beta, so I'm going to type H to hide. I've actually got to type H twice, and now the lines are hidden, and we can see that in fact it did a great job of finding a new source to cover up that power line. H to get them back. If not, I could go ahead and click and drag the source to be somewhere else. I'm going to go ahead and do Controller Command Z to undo that though because I liked what Lightroom did. Okay, so for this next one I'm going to go ahead and click and I'm going to take the source from down here and then I'm going to hold the Shift key down as I click down here at the other end and then I'm going to type H to hide H again. So click, shift, click, click, shift, click, and I'm done. Turn this off, turn it back on, and you can see how wonderfully time-saving that is. Now that still isn't the coolest feature of the advanced healing brush, but that's pretty good. I'm going to go to this photo here, and I'll zoom out to show you that in this photo, we're going to go ahead and remove this fence. I do kind of like it in this photo. But let's just use that as an example. So Control or Command Plus and then the space bar to zoom. I'm in the spot healing brush or the advanced healing brush rather. Now what I'm going to do rather than the click shift click is I'm going to remove this in pieces. But I'm going to click hold and drag. And notice how we now can define areas that are not circular. Now I've got to type H because I've hidden the lines here. So it took that fix from down here. Now I'd probably rather it take it from up in the trees here. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue with this and do a little bit more. And of course I would take the source and maybe make sure that it looks good. But I'm going to go ahead and do this fairly quickly. Now I could do the whole fence at once. But if I do the whole fence at once, I've got to find a source area that's just as big that's going to cover it up. And I'm just afraid that if I did that, I'd run into this tree here as an issue. But let's go ahead and do the rest of this all at once. And I'm going to take this from over here, move my mouse out, type H, type H again. And I don't think anybody would know that that fence was there. If I turn off my fixes with a little switch here, that's before and that's after. That to me is the really exciting part of the Lightroom 5 Beta Advanced Healing Brush. Let's go to one more example. Let's say you're retouching a portrait. So we use this old portrait of me. In fact, I've got a lot more wrinkles now than I did then. But let's go ahead and reduce the appearance of circles under my eyes and these wrinkles here. I've again showed you in previous versions of Lightroom that you can use overlapping circles, but we'll use the new click and drag functionality. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag here under my eye, and I'm going to type H so I can see where the source is coming from, and in fact it's coming from pretty far down. I'm going to have to do Control or Command minus to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to take this from fairly smooth skin on my cheek, and then I'm going to zoom back in. As I type H to hide this, you can see that this is very unnatural in that I've completely removed the circle under my eye. Remember from previous videos that I can lower the opacity so that I'm not completely covering up the circles, I'm just partially covering up the circles. So we'll go with something in the 30s here. Now I'm going to click, hold, and drag, and I'm going to define this these wrinkles here, and again it's taking a source from over on the left side of my face, so I'll go ahead and take that from my cheek as well. And I'll zoom back in, type H, and now I'm going to turn the switch on and off, but look at the photo as I do it. So before and after. I can always, as I've mentioned before, modify the opacity now. And this fix that's active, 
I can go ahead and increase the opacity to reduce the appearance of those wrinkles even more. I could click back on this circle under my eye and I could refine the opacity on that one as well. So hopefully you can see why I'm so excited about this new functionality, both for retouching and for removing objects. Now I want to point out, I'm going to go ahead and go back to this fence picture and I'll do Ctrl or Command minus to zoom out. I want to point out that this new functionality we have is not content aware. Those of you using content aware heal and content aware fill in Photoshop may have that question in terms of how this compares. This is not as smart as that. It's simply we define the shape we want to fix and then Lightroom will try to come up with a source that best fills in that area and then we can override that source. But in any case it's drawing directly from another source in the picture. Content Aware Heal and Content Aware Fill in Photoshop intelligently creates new pixels as necessary to fill in an area. So if by fixing this it detected that it needed to continue lines in trees here, it would make up new parts to our photograph to do that. But nevertheless, particularly for examples like I've just shown you, this is a great leap forward for Lightroom. Now before I conclude this video, I want to go over a few shortcuts that are either new or that have changed here with the healing brush. Let's go ahead and use this photo for this example. I'm going to go ahead and remove this sign here and I just want to show you that typically I would use the scroll wheel on my mouse to size my circle. I can also hold down Ctrl or Command Alt and then click from the center of what I want to fix. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag and notice how it just defines a, a circle centered where I clicked and as large as I drag it to be. And then I can let go and then of course I can take a new source. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and just show you that if instead of controller command alt or option I hold down controller command shift and I drag from the edge of what I want to fix, I'm defining a circle from that anchor point. All right, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. The next thing I want to show you, I'll go ahead and zoom in here, Control or Command Plus, click and drag, and we'll come to this, this fence here. And let's just say I wanted to remove the top bar in this fence. Now I've shown you how you can click and then hold the Shift key down and then click at the other end to define that area to be fixed. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Now if you want to fix something that is completely horizontal with respect to your photo or completely vertical with respect to the photo, you can simply hold the shift key down as you drag. So I've got the shift key down and as I drag it's constraining me to a horizontal solution. So I try to drag my mouse up or down, nothing's happening. I can also do that vertically, so as I'm holding the shift key down, as I click and drag up, it's constraining me to be vertical. Okay, so this concludes the video on the Advanced Healing Brush, a great new feature in the Lightroom 5 Beta. For more Lightroom videos and tutorials, check out my website at laurashu.com.